What's up, my loves and fellow creatives? This is going to be a vital step in understanding what you're doing in Photoshop and not being frustrated. So if you are a beginner or a first timer, or if you just need to know how to reset your workspace in order to look like most of the videos that you see, we're going to go ahead and get into that. Let me turn on my mouse tracker here. All right, so you should be able to identify where I'm clicking here by the highlight of the mouse. If it's a, a regular click, you're going to see red. If it's a right click, then you'll see green. So let's go ahead and click on Window, Workspace, and I want everyone to choose Graphic and Web. Once you have Graphic and Web chosen, you'll notice that you're going to get a setup here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset my Graphic and Web. And more than likely, if you reset yours too, it will look exactly like this. This is the default for Graphic and Web for Adobe Photoshop. So let's go ahead and make it what we need it to be to, to see all of the elements that you'll be using in class. First, I want you to come up here to the top where it says Expand Panels. And I want you to open that up. Open that up. <clears throat> go ahead and click on the History here. So that will be the first tab that you see. You're going to go to layers and drag your layers from down here where it's really really short you're going to drag it up here and you'll see the blue box highlight around it that's where you know where it's going to drop and you want your layers to be your very first tab so i'm going to drag it right in front of history now from here we're going to right click and close for the libraries and we'll do the same thing we'll right click and close for the layer comp so all i see are the properties right now I'll take my swatches from up here and drag them next to my properties. And then make sure that you set properties as your default here. The reason why I want swatches here is because when we're on layers, we want to be able to see the swatches, and these are your colors, plus your layers at the same time, okay? So go ahead and make sure that properties is the first tab that's showing. Layers is the first tab showing here and you should have your character, paragraph, and glyphs. We're all set to go ahead and save this workspace. Let's go to Window, Workspace, and let's go to New Workspace. I'm gonna type in a workspace name here. I want it to be your name, and the reason why is because if you ever get frustrated, I'm gonna tell you how to remember how to do this, this feature here, okay? So I'm gonna put Shannon. Now let's go ahead and check off all three boxes here. Hit save. And that has saved my workspace. Now let's say you're working, you're getting down to the nitty gritty and you just mistakenly pulled something out, maybe X out of it, and you're like, oh my goodness, where are my layers? Okay? I want you to practice saying that because you will say it at some point in time. Uh, where, where's my character? Where are my properties? What did I do? Okay? Very, very simple fix. Let's come up here to Windows. I want you to move side for just a moment, come to your workspace, and I want you to reset Shannon. When I reset Shannon, all is right with the world, and all of my windows come back how I originally saved them. Okay, so that's a tip there. If there's ever a window that you don't see, let's say we're working on a special project and you need to see a certain window, go to window and look for that name. Let's say for instance, we're looking for brushes click on brushes and it'll pop up somewhere and either you can move it like I'll move mine up here just so that I can get the full list length here and now I have brushes as part of my setup if I want to save that if I want to keep brushes as part of my setup I want to make sure everything looks how I want it to look by default I want layers to pop up first my character to pop up first and my properties to pop up first and then I'll go to window workspace and then if I hit new workspace and I type the same exact name, that's why I say I want you to listen to me and put your name. I'm going to type my name here and hit save. It will ask if I want to replace it. If I say yes, now this is my new Shannon workspace uh, with the brushes added up here. Okay, so 
take a moment and do this before you start any of the tutorials or you may take a moment and do this if you've started the tutorials and you just um, never set up the workspace and you're always hunting and looking for stuff the best thing not to be frustrated is to know where things are and this should help you with that now this is a part of our beginner Photoshop tutorials if there's anything else that you all need to see in order to take on the courses please let me know in the innate creatives Facebook group all right you know I appreciate y'all love y'all dearly until next time bye